Like if you start looking at the order of exercises, you can pair them together. Mm -hmm. You pair them together and um, get better activation. So if I do this glute activation exercise, it's kind of a good spot for the table because now I can show you instead of being on the ground. So if I do that exercise first and then do this exercise immediately after, it's called a hip bridge. Now I've got even more activation going. So I'm gonna, it's called a pelvic tilt. Where I'm gonna press my lower back down. That just again puts me in a position that biases the glutes or makes the glutes work harder. And I'm gonna bring my hips up. The biggest thing is the booty squeeze, right? So big glute squeeze the whole time, making sure that it's not in my lower back, not in my hamstrings, you should feel this in the glutes, and you hold until it's spicy or fatiguing. So those two exercises together are like the masters for glute activation. If you did those alone, most people would have less back pain. That's like how powerful mm. they are. So those are the two that I teach every single client that walks in with that really tight hip, um, mm. And also lower back pain. How, yeah. Uh, how long do you have the you, you uh, do the the band? What? How long? Oh, for how long? So this is a great question. We were actually went over it. Is how many sets are right for you? So in exercise, we do a bunch of different sets, like three <coughs> times maybe, two or three times.